this story right here has a very, very disturbing background. So this guy right here that's getting baptized in prison, well, I had to cut the video off at a certain part because you see the guy right there, right there that's blurred out right there in the back, right there. If y'all can see the black guy with this blur right there, he actually has a banger. He has a banger. And when, when, when the camera cuts, he's actually going to run around and he's going to boom, 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 hit dude up. And everybody's going to scatter and it's about to get real crazy. Oh, uh, I know y'all wonder, like, Dante, why do you got that blue cowboy hat on? Well, today the kids had cowboys um, dress up today. And, well, you know, I always got to show up at the – parent teacher uh meetings whatever so i'm just doing my part but anyway um this video is really disturbing this guy is so excited excited to get baptized and all along homeboy back there that let me see can i show y'all better homeboy I got point like this. Homeboy right there. Y'all see the white guy that's right here? That's right there. The white guy right there. They got the white shirt on. The guy right next to him. The black dude that's clapping right there. The, the black dude right there. He is the one that's going to run up on him when the camera cuts off and do him bad. Do him bad. But you know what? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if homeboy made it out alive or not. I, I don't know if he survived the attack, but I do know this though. If he did not survive the attack, he did not die in his sin. So I believe that he made it into heaven. Okay. Um, yeah. So prison is vicious. Prison is vicious i mean vicious you can't even you can't even worship god right without somebody trying to take you out but that's just the dark realities of prison right our next story is about this guy that's talking about eight inmates in the alabama prison system was taken out and their organs was removed let's get to it this is something out of a horror movie it has been uncovered that at least eight inmates in the Alabama prison system were found with their organs surgically removed after an inmate who had one year left died and it took two months for them to alert the sister. And when she found out she got the body, it was so badly beaten and decomposed that she was like, what the fuck happened? The warden said, oh, he had a fentanyl overdose. She said, wait, but he's got broken bones. He's got all fucked up. There's no way. He got the shit beat out of him. And he's not even a drug user. The warden said, hey, shit happens. They released the body. And she's like, why is it so decomposed? Uh, you know, he really just couldn't say shit. Just kind of skipped over the question. So, of course, like any family member, she goes to a private, you know, place to get an autopsy. And the medical examiner says, listen, he was beaten. He did overdose on fentanyl, but what happened to his heart? She goes, what? Was he an organ donor or something? No, not at all. Oh, somebody surgically removed his heart. She you know what's crazy? It's like when you get locked up in a penitentiary, it's like you are nothing. Actually, in the Constitution, it says that once you uh, become a ward of the state and locked up, you are a slave. So it's like... Oh, man, it's like, well, let's keep going. Immediately starts to investigate and starts talking to the warden. He says, nah, we release all the bodies to this place over here. It's a private school facility that takes organs from people dead or alive. And when they asked the school, the facility, they denied anything. The warden denied anything. He just said he sent them there to get examined. Now the law is this. Anytime there is a suspicious death in Department of Corrections, they are to go to the state medical examiner, not a private facility, anything like that. So that's when people started realizing, wait, I had a family member 
that was so badly decomposed. And they said he, he, he died from a fentanyl overdose. And they started finding inmates that had no brains, no hearts, no lungs, no kidneys. So what was found out is that these sick, demonic, crooked piece of shits were getting certain inmates, beating the shit out of them, probably had the warden talk to a captain who talked to his little foot soldiers, his little minions, beat the shit out of these inmates, shot them up with dope, somehow got them on the operating table. Now, they don't know if they took the organs while they were alive or dead, but at this point, it was obviously for money because they're greedy and sadistic motherfuckers. It wouldn't surprise me if they were alive when they did it. And you know, here's the thing: um, we live in a day and age where you just don't know, man. It might sound like a conspiracy theory, but do it really? I mean, people don't care about these inmates at all, anyway. It's like when you become an inmate, you nothing. You're trash. You you. So just think about it. You might got somebody that's a millionaire that need um, a kidney or they kid need a heart transplant. They got all your information, your blood type, all that stuff. So it ain't nothing for them to hit a database and be like, oh, here's an inmate right here. Okay, we'll set this up. We'll give y'all a little kickback. This world is scary, y'all. It's scary. Then after they shoot them up with more dope and they die, they put them in the hot Alabama sun and they let them decompose to cover up all the scars from where they performed the surgery. They even had a 75 year old man who was about to go home in three years, who died of natural causes, found without his brain, his kidneys, his liver, his heart, everything. And the law is in the Department of Corrections, if someone dies of a natural cause, they don't go for further examination they get released to the family and that's that. But they put him in for a further examination by the private facility. And you know what, here's the thing. If you have a family member that loses their life in a penitentiary, please get a secondhand autopsy. Please get the outside source that do that autopsy because these, I believe it. I totally, totally, believe that these people organs are being sold they being sold and ain't nothing being done about it nothing because what they're inmates they criminals nobody cares about them but ah somebody does care about them they got loved ones people that love and care about they love one that's locked up so get a second opinion please the only time you do more of an investigation is if it's a suspicious death you know, a murder, a drug overdose, you know, homicide, suicide, whatever it might be. And that's when things really kicked off. People were coming out of all different states saying that happened to my family member, this family member. And it is so fucking crazy to think you can go to prison, you survive the gangs, the, the fucking politics, the murders, the crooked CEOs, everything that goes on on that side. And they kill you for your organs. And when it's found out and proven, the facility, the private school facility, they deny it. The warden just kind of says, oh, no, I don't know anything about that. And nothing happens. Imagine if you kill somebody, shot them up with drugs, beat them up, then shot them up with more drugs after taking their organs and selling them. And you got caught red handed. And you just said, I don't know, man, you'd be in prison for the rest of your life. That's why it's so dangerous in prison. It's so fucking treacherous. It's a dirty game in prison. Dirty, 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 dirty. They get away with anything they want. Some people who've never been on the inside think that I might be exaggerating, but this is reality. This is what I live with. This is what I grew up with. I mean, it's to the point where they are killing inmates taking their organs and getting away with it and i don't give a fuck we don't give a shit what are you gonna do about it he overdosed we don't know nothing about the surgically removed heart brain kidneys liver imagine that imagine going to prison you got three years to do right for some dumb shit some non-violent drug shit an officer comes in your cell beats the shit out of you shoots you up with some fentanyl then put then you kind of like wake up in an operating table and get shot up with more dope die take all your organs 
that's what happens when you fuck up and give cowards and sadistic motherfuckers rule over your life. There is no consequences. There is no penalty. There's only money and cover-ups. And if they can get away with that in this day and age, imagine how long this has been going on. And who knows if they were alive or dead. I had a friend named Trent, solid dude. Used to work out with him on the yard all the time. He had a heat stroke on the yard. We're in Florida, you know, nothing major. Didn't use drugs or anything like that. And after reading and studying this whole situation, I think they took this man's organs. He drops down. He's obviously having a heat stroke, healthy dude. Works out, he's got water, whatever. It's hot out there in the middle of summer. A CO runs out to check on him. You, everybody hears on the walkie talkie because they have us all kind of like down and they say, don't, don't touch him. You'll be responsible. The officer runs away from my dying friend on the yard. 20 minutes later, another officer comes out and uses like the defibrillator thing or whatever it is to try to bring him back and nothing's working. She leaves. 10 more minutes go by. A nurse comes leisurely walking, picks him up with the COs, puts him in a wheelchair, folds him over, and they walk him out. And the thing is, his family didn't have much money, so it took a little time for them to get everything situated and get his body released. You know, I don't know the whole story behind that, but I know it took a little bit of time for them to figure it out. And during, you know, the whole time after, everyone was talking about it. You know, people made like a little like remembrance for him where he died on the yard. The CEO spread a rumor saying, oh, he overdosed on K2. Everyone's like, no way. No, the man was about to go home soon, about to get married, never use drugs. Like, I, I can vouch for that. Not to say, not to say that these things does not happen where it may do OD, but more than likely, they shot this dude up just to take his organs. More than likely, I think I believe that more than the dude OD on K2. Remembrance for him where he died on the yard, the CEO spread a rumor saying, oh, he overdosed on K2. Everyone's like, no way. No, the man was about to go home soon, about to get married, never use drugs. Like, I, I can vouch for that. They do whatever they want inside. That's it. You know, there's nowhere you can hide. There's nowhere you can run. When you're inside, only the strong survive. You're either a warrior or a victim. If it's not the inmates, the gangs, the politics, the extortions, the murders that get you, it's the COs that are going to get you. This is next level. Don't be surprised if thousands and thousands of people find out that their loved ones were put out in the sun after having their body parts surgically removed. Stay out. Stay free. Us. And you know, like I said, this prison is, you know, it's something that he said that was interesting. <clears throat> Imagine surviving the other inmates, just surviving, period. And then somebody play, the guards play unfair. And they dope you up and take your body parts. Like, that's why I say, y'all, when, when I say welcome to the Terror Dome, this is what I mean when I say welcome to the Terror Dome. <clears throat> um, ugh, it's vicious. Check this out, y'all. I'm going to leave a link in the comment section to my TikTok channel. All right? I'm going to be going live on my TikTok channel. So I need all of y'all to get TikTok. So that way y'all can go live with me. So if if you're not familiar about the TikTok thing, where you go live, um, there's a, you know, I'll be the main person, but then there'll be boxes right here that y'all can um, get brought on. I think you can put six people on there at a time. So y'all make sure... Um, that y'all subscribe to my TikTok channel, and I will be going live this Friday at 8 p.m., and we're going to be talking about a lot, and I want y'all to be there to interact. So um, with that, y'all, this is the Dante Show Network. Be safe out there, y'all. If you need your business, products, or your social media channels promoted, make sure you shoot me a text at this number. 
my channel get over 5 million views per month. So that's a lot of eyes on your promotion. If you forgot to hit that like button, make sure you smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Be sure to get your Military Mind Games merch. The link will be pinned in the comment section.